And now that we have all the characters, we can officially see all of them sleeping. And look at Wario. He's just, uh, he's just chilling, you know? He's just taking a kneel. He's not even, like, laying down fully like some of the other characters, like Yoshi. He's just, you know, just taking a kneel. I don't really know how you sleep sitting up like that, but I mean... You do you. Anyways, it is time for an adventure. Yes, it is time. Anyways, what's up everyone and welcome back to more Super Mario 64 DS. In the last episode, we made our way to the upstairs and took care of a couple things. And that couple things, it means one thing. And as you can clearly tell, yes, we have unlocked him. The big man himself, the greatest character to ever grace this game of all time. Yes, that is right, Wario. Look at him clog around and jump around and just be in an absolute unit. It's honestly incredible. And now that we have Wario at our disposable, or disposal, uh, I didn't mean disposable. Anyways, regardless though, uh, we have a lot of things that we can take care of now that we have access to Wario here. And first thing on the agenda is we are going to go outside. Yes, I'm done with this game. I don't want to play it anymore. We've had our fun and now I just want to be a free butterfly. No, I'm just kidding. We actually have a couple things that we can take care of now that we have Wario. So the special thing about Wario is that he can indeed break the black bricks. So if we go ahead and punch this here. Oh my goodness, look at this. We've unveiled a secret underground random hole in the middle of the moat. Yes, this place was probably consistently flooded because of how... What's it called? The moat was, uh, it was previously, or what did it called? Previously in water 24 7. But luckily, thanks to us, we have saved it. All right, so here we go. What do we need to do? Um, I can't see anything because the game is painting the camera way too much for me to see anything. And we fell into the abyss. Oh my goodness, and now we are. Wait, what? Wait, okay, I was, okay, I was gonna say, like, wait, did the water, did the water flood back? No, we're good, okay, I did not mean, that was a horrible first attempt at what we needed to do there, but we're gonna go back, and we are going to try this again, alright, here we go, Wario, show your skills, show your power, show your prowess, show your, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you're trying to show here, alright, please, please, stop, 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 no, 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 I wanna stop, I wanna stop, I wanna stop, huh. okay, we're good, we're good, okay, we finally stopped, all right, there are some red coins for us to collect, but I don't think we're going to be doing that today, mainly because of how, I'm not saying impossible it is for us to do so, but uh, we're going to go ahead and collect that one up. Why not? Okay, can we actually scale this? Isn't this, yeah, okay, this is how you're supposed to do this. Um, okay, this is actually going to take an eternity, so I am just going to, yep, just go up here casually like a, uh, like the caterpillar I am, you know, nothing, nothing really to it, just, just caterpillaring. My way along, this is so incredibly slow. I'm sorry to make you wait for this, but there is some things that we need to collect along the ledges here, such as the red coins, because I want to take care of the red coins, because there is a star here that we need to take care of. Um, there's actually a box right here. I'm curious as to what is in this box here. All right, let me just go ahead and stop crawling here for a second. And what is in this box? Oh, a one-up. We could definitely use the one-ups, because, yeah, I don't want to talk about what happened last time with Chief Chili, but it was, um, it was pain. It was pain, is all I'm going to say, and... We need to recover some lives because I did indeed drain a whole lot of lives trying to fight that stupid boss. But it is all in the past. It is all in the past. We have our prize. We have our prize, that being Wario, the prize man, the prize possession himself, Wario. And uh, we can just move on with our lives for now. So anyways, let's go ahead and make our way here. I think we have collected all the red coins there are on the slide here. If memory, or I'm not saying memory, but... I believe this is all we can do here. Yes, I'm sorry that this has taken an absolute eternity. But it's just something we have to do. Okay. Now I need to actually see what I'm doing here. All right, so let's just go ahead and slowly make our way down. Like, uh, what's it called? This is not the way that it was intended. Oh, God. Oh, God, please, please. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Whew, that was close. That was very close. Um, what is over there? How, and how does one get over there? Oh, do we need the Mario, like, power flower thing where we need to, like, do the whole gliding thing? I think that's what we need to be doing over there. Okay, come on, come on, camera. Cooperate with me. Okay. So where do we need to go? Where, where do we need to go? We need to weigh this down. Oh, God, that is that is moving a lot faster than I would like it to. Okay, let's go ahead and get this Mario cap, actually. I know we just got Mar or we just got Wario, but honestly, we don't. We need to We need to have somebody who's better at jumping here. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and open this. We'll get some coins. All right, we'll take that. Whoa, you've collected quite a few red coins, huh? Well done. Please take a look at the map below. Okay, all the red coins are over here. I believe this is the only thing that there is to do in this level. I could be... Whoa, what, what is even going on? Okay, no, I want... I want, I want this, I want it, and hearing Wario's voice come out of Mario's body is not something that I would have heard, or would have thought I've been hearing today, but it is, uh, it is very strange, but honestly, I'm a little bit of a fan of it. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and make our way over here. Huh. Oh, look at those jumps, power jumps, power jumps, all right, 
Anyways, what we need to do is we need to slowly make our way to where we need to be, and let's go ahead. Oh, God. No, 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 no. So I've already gone ahead and saved you the trouble of having to do what we literally already just did. All right, so let's see if we can actually... Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, I didn't want to make you sit through all that boring stuff, especially crawling up the wall and meticulously or monotonously or however you want to put it, getting those red coins or whatever on the wall. I just wanted to go ahead and skip ahead because, I mean, who really cares about seeing stuff that we literally already just did? And the star is up there. Okay, I have a very strong feeling as to as to where that is. It's uh, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and give me that right there. Thank you very much. And we're just going to walk in here and bada bing, bada boom, easy peasy. So that took uh, way longer than I wanted it to. I really didn't anticipate for that level to be so long. Well, I mean, for you, it wasn't really that long because I skipped a lot, a lot of the trial and error portions. But regardless, though, at least for me, it was a little bit monotonous and very boring. So honestly, I'm not too sure if there's anything else there is to do in that level. I do believe that was the only thing to do in that level. I might go exploring off camera and see if there is anything for us to do in there. But currently, I think there that is the only thing that we could have done in that level. So anyway. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our way, I know, back in the basement. It was only however long it was until we were back in the basement. We only took, what, like an episode of a break from the basement? Yeah, I'm sorry. But we're going to be finishing up the, all, the levels, or all the levels in the basement because once we're done with all the levels in the basement, then we'll never have to come back. So that's it's a little exciting, a little sad, but equally a little bit exciting because then we can move on to bigger and better things. Anyways, we're going to head right back into Shifting Sandland where we left off a while ago. And now it is time to do some, oh wow, here we go, as he said. <laughs> and we are going to make some progress here in Shifting Sandland, because this is the current world that we're on. We're here to make some good progress, and, uh, you know, hopefully all things go well. Anyways, uh, let's see. Okay, that is that is the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. We are going to go ahead and punch. Okay, come on, just give me, just give me. Oh wow, that was <laughs> that was a little bit more aggressive than I wanted it to be. Jesus Christ, he like punched him into the shadow realm. Okay, that was uh, geez. I I mean, I knew Wario was strong. That's why we need him specifically to uh, to break the black bricks, but. My goodness, that was that was an incredible punch. I've never seen a punch such as that. Okay, anyways, as the uh, as the world or whatever, as the thing. Oh my goodness, there's a tornado. Okay, as the thing would imply, what we need to do is we need to stand atop the four pillars. So I somewhat remember how to do this i'm not too sure if we need to ground pound the pillars but i think it's pretty obvious judging by how there's what's it called hold on after i do this if i do this if i pan the camera over here as you can see there is four pillars there is one behind the pyramid that we can't see but yeah i think it's pretty obvious what we need to do here i mean we just need to stand atop the four pillars and then things will happen great things will happen so not exactly sure if we have to ground pound them per se maybe we can just stand on them i'm not exactly sure i don't exactly remember this mission 100 percent, especially since there are some differences mainly mainly that's that okay i don't know what i'm trying to say anymore i'm just i'm getting lost in speech anyways um oh anyways oh we hear something we heard a little jingle and if we can see it without the camera messing around okay if if we were able to see it, you were getting a little glimpse of it. You can see that the pyramid has lost the top. Yes, I know. It is no longer a triangle at the top. And what we need to do is we need to uh, meticulously backflip our way here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, I like to say that I'm improving with this. I'm improving at this game little by little and actually becoming a little bit more and more competent at playing this game. But the more I play this game, the more I realize that that is just that is just simply not true. I mean, I like this. The smallest hills like you see how small that slope is and that miraculously sloped me all the way down to the whatever the quicksand death pit, which is honestly that's honestly super annoying. I mean, literally, why is that even there? Like it, it really shouldn't be there. It's really stupid. It's really annoying. I just all oh, one slip up and instantaneous death i just i don't know levels like this is just like is where it gets really annoying but anyways we get into the pyramid from the top and now we can ride this secret little cage that we kind of got a glimpse of last time we were here and then we can punch open this brick area and voila oh my goodness the star is right there let's go ahead and get it and we can jump on here and oh no evil monsters who walk here? Who break seal? Wake ancient ones? We know like light. Rumble. We know like intruders. Now battle hand to hand. 
quite literally because yes we are literally fighting uh we are literally fighting a set of hands this is known as i rock a very interesting boss and the only reason i know its name is because of the mario kart ds uh what's it called the mario kart ds mission mode which is honestly pretty exciting or i wouldn't say pretty exciting but it's a great mode if you've ever played it anyways it's a pretty simple concept and if you've played mario kart ds you know how to beat this boss all you have to do is just you know attack the eyes because i mean if your only source of humanity is the fact that you have an eye as a human as a hands or a rock hand or whatever it's obviously i'm pretty sure that would hurt a lot as well so anyways uh it's pretty simple what we need to do we just need to go ahead and just punch him and yep Pretty easy boss. Nothing really to it. The first time a boss was actually easy for once for me. Grumble. What happened? We crushed like pebble. You so strong. You rule ancient pyramid for today. Now take star of power. We sleep darkness. Okay. And there goes I rock. So yeah, I'm quite sad to uh, miss you. You know, cool enemy, but uh, not as cool as the star we just collected. And there we go, a successful star, nothing really to it, pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty exciting. I mean, yes, I know I did fail the first time, but uh, we, we don't talk about that. Anyways, I think we have time for one more star, especially since I want to make some more progress. So here we go, Toxbox Switch Star. I believe this is a pretty simple star, nothing really to it, and especially since we now have the right character for the job... I believe we, I know what to do here. Because most stars involving, uh, what's it called? Most stars that I don't immediately recognize from the original game, I can immediately assume that they have, they, they involve something that was introduced in this game. Say, for example, the black bricks or switch stars or anything of the sort. Anyways, we're just going to go ahead and jump over here. Oh, careful, careful, careful. And go. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and destroy this all right simple 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 and then we step on the switch star and there we go we have a star we have a star all right go 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 please tell me we can make that jump okay we can all right come on wario we gotta awaken awaken the inner speed runner in you i know you can do it i know you can't really jump but i don't care that's not an excuse it's not an excuse go 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 oh god go 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 oh we got it easy easy peasy And yes, pay no attention to the scary eyes because the pixels for the eyeballs just kind of disappear sometimes in given camera angles. Uh, like kind of right now, if you look hard enough, which is honestly a little spooky. But anyways, regardless though, I think we've had our fun. You know, we've explored we've explored two new areas. Well, I wouldn't say two new areas. We kind of returned to Shifting Sandland. But anyways, I'm rambling on. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy, then thanks for watching. And I am saying this in a really weird way, but... Hopefully, you know the drill by now, you know, do the liking and subscribing and all that stuff. And yes, I am a professional YouTuber. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.